Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And seriously, you guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help me out. Measuring tape, scissors, pins. It's a metal circle and I got it at Joann's. It's 19 inches and it's for like floral decorations. That's where I got it, the section I got it from. And it's actually really light. It's lighter than the wooden stuff that they have. You need a total of seven yards. of mesh fabric this isn't tool this is mesh so it's a little bit stretchy it's really light but it also it's like flowy you need a flowy fabric because tool sometimes is stiff and even if tool is light the texture it's different and it gets staticky easy and you need seven yards total when i went to the store i had them cut in three pieces so i don't have to do it at home but the first piece is three yards the second piece is three yards as well. So technically you only need six yards and then the optional part Get six yards, have them cut in half, but I also got this at Joann's and to use your coupon, like if you want to use 50% off that they usually have you need to have one piece of fabric so you could always have them cut six yards come home fold in half and just cut it the mesh fabric and a lot of fabric you buy comes in already folded in half so you actually have the width of it it's like this long so there's two ways to do it and i actually did not record any of it because my camera died but one way is to lay down the fabric flat on the floor and then fold over the edge about 16 to 18 inches and pin it down and then you're going to sew the edge together and i'm going to show you that right now but what i ended up doing i ended up getting my metal circle and i put the fabric over it so like that one edge is 16 inches and then the other edge is the rest of the fabric and then i pinned it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna sew it while it's pinned on the metal circle but if it's easier for you to do it the way i said it the first way then do it that way but then that means you have to cut the metal circle in half in order to slip the fabric onto it kind of like you would put a curtain over a rod when i'm sewing this i make sure to pull it all so it's straight over here not like this but straight and i'm just gonna push this all the way to the side and do the same thing to the second piece of fabric Okay, now it's done. I have two parts and um, honestly, I wish I did a third one, but it was starting to add up many ways, so I just did two. Here's my fabric. This, this is the short one. It's on the inside. I'm going to find the edge of my fabric. I'm going to tie a knot over here.
guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel check out my website www.jonastar.com check out my social media my store instagram where i do a bunch of giveaways and where i post all my promotions coupons sales what's coming out new and etc so that's where i usually announce all that stuff for my website all right thank you bye